Hi everyone, Dorota Palitska International, new artist and educator, and today I have prepared a beautiful design for you. Have a look preview of it in here. That's what we are going to create today, and I hope you really enjoyed it. Also, if you've got any request of what else you would like to see it on the channel, just put them down below in the comment se section, and I will try to produce as many as possible. So let's start. I decided to show you this time five designs with the orange color and we are going to use the 234 which is like a very nice pastel-y one so just paint the entire tip in this color and then give it a cure On this tip, we are going to go the 239, which is also a nice orangey color. Really pretty. Look at this. But also on the top, just because I feel like it will look much nicer, we are going to put a drop of this bright pink color in. And then right in the middle, some yellow one. So just grab some yellow one. Then using the sponge, we are going to create some ombre. So for sponging ombre, I quite like to use uh, a back of the form. And you can see it, I've got lots of different colors ones in here. Uh, so let me grab some which is clear, this one is clear, and then we are going to do an ombre here. The, the orange one is the main color, so the other ones are just the tiny ones in the top and the rest is orange. Blend it in well. And then once you're happy with that blending, grab some clear acrylic powder had to uh, take a bigger one because the ombre season is just starting and I will be doing lots of ombre and sprinkle it with this clear acrylic powder. Box works fantastic even on the short nails. Okay, the one which we have painted already is waiting for the top coat application. So we are grabbing the High Shine No Wipe Top Gel And then we are going to give it a cure of uh, 60 seconds. So apply the top coat in and a 60 seconds cure. Our ombre tip should be ready as well. So grab the brush and remove any excess of the pigment of the acrylic powder. And then let's do the second layer. So a drop of this yellow. A drop of the orange. You don't have to even put it at, uh, right to the edges because we are gonna sponge it. And a drop of the pink one. Grab the sponge. The same one you have used for that color collection. And then blend everything in. When you're going to the edges, make sure you don't uh, touch it with the dirty particles of the sponge. So just the clean part of the sponge goes to the edges. And I'm working up and down, up and down. We don't have to put another layer of the um, pigment um, of that clear acrylic over it because the coverage is absolutely amazing and this is plenty. So let's cure it. Put our sponge on the side and then start creating another tip. So for this one I want to go with uh, 
Now let's choose some chrome look. So we are going to use the high shine no wipe top gel since we're working with the chrome. And then the deliner brush. Let's place nice and wiggly line. And here. And then on top, we are gonna paint some butterfly. So that's the body of the butterfly. I'm painting with the top coat, so it might be not as visible. And then the wings. It's going to be a huge, tiny one. And another wing. Okay, so we've got some cute butterfly. Let's cure it. And again, it has to be cooked 60 seconds. So this tip is ready. And we are going to take some chrome pigment and that's Aurora. It looks absolutely fantastic. So Aurora pigment goes over it. That's why we didn't have to bother about putting two coats of this orangey color I just done it in a one because chrome is this chrome is going to hide any imperfection in the color application look how pretty is that absolutely amazing okay now if we want the chrome to last we have to give it a scratches to our free edge so the top coat is going to attach to that part clean the excess of it and then apply the top coat or maybe let's do some flowers. I'm going to actually place some flowers here. I think it will look pretty. So we've got those beautiful box of the flowers. And to attach the flowers, we are gonna use some base gel. So you can see it, all those designs are pretty simple to do it. So base gel. And then some large flower and some small flowers. So I've got one. So first of all, I'm just placing them wherever. I don't need to watch it how I do it. And then with the other side of the gem picker, I'm just attaching them into the right place. Now let's do it maybe higher. I like when they kind of click on top of each other. And then cure it. Our butterfly tip is ready as well. So we are going to take for a change some gold chrome. So I'm just taking a gold chrome. You could also use the black foil gel to create the design. If you're scared, you might not see it. And then color it in. Oh, wow, that's really pretty. So we've got some awesome butterfly in here. Again, clean all the excess. And then start painting the next part of this design. So for the next part, we are going to do some ombre. I'm painting those orangey color on one side and then let's do the pink one on the other side or actually we could do the same color combination like we did for the other tip so I'm squeezing the yellow one here as well and then using the same sponge, we are going to blend it in. So this time I have to go with the sponge like this. And the gold line is my cuticle area.
lightly, sprinkle with the acrylic powder. And cure it. The Aurora one wants some finishing touches here and there. And since we use the gold for the other one, I'm just picking up some gold caviar beads. So the large one. That's the heavy one. <laughs> to go, that's a medium one. The large one. <laughs> and then the smaller one. So the beads are attached again with the base gel, like a nice and decent amount in here. Okay, let's do the second round on this one. And as you can see it, as we move on with the second round, things look much more intense and pretty. Fantastic. Let's do it also inside the uh, butterfly because the butterfly cannot look like so empty. So I'm going to grab this yellow, pink and orange. And then the watercolor brush. Place a drop of the pink color, then grab the orange without of cleaning your brush. Because this way you are kind of creating already a nice ombre. Then clean the brush and the go into the yellow one. Mix it well. And we've got some cute butterfly. This tip, we want to apply some matte top coat. As we will be working with some transfer foil. So matte top coat. Want to show you as many techniques as possible in a one video. Okay, this one is ready for a normal top coat, so let's top coat it. Go around the flowers really well. Like I kind of like to give it those shaky motion to it to make sure they are all secured. And then cure it. <laughs> Grab some transfer foil gel on our mixing palette. And let's work on the ombre tip. Just removing any inhibition layer which might be on the top coat. There isn't hardly anything, but I like to always do that. 
and then we are going to pick up the transfer foil gel into our D-liner brush. I hope you can see it on the camera that I'm just painting quickly a few leaves in there. And then do another ones on the side like this. Honestly, this is the design which my client love it for uh, autumn time, for a springtime, summertime, uh, because you can change the colors and it always looks fantastic. Then give it a 60 seconds cure. Okay, this design is ready to be top coated. So grab the top coat and just cover everything with the top coat. The top coat always smooths out nicely the sponged ombre. First one, nice and ready, so I'll place it here. And then start working on another design. So for a change on this one, we are going to use the High Shine No Wipe Top Gel to wrap some chrome in. Cure it. Also, this tip is ready for a transfer foil, so I'm taking some gold transfer foil. And transferring it into our design. That's, there is no easier gel to transfer your foil than this one. It always works perfect, even if the tips are wobbly. <laughs> okay, then just apply the top coat and that's a fantastic design with some orange colors. So we've got okay so let's wrap those home in a really really pretty one I just want to remove any excess of it and as you can see it, the difference in between applying it with my finger and the difference when I was using those um, attach it, how you call it, Sponge. Uh, eyeshadow applicator is huge and unbelievable like look at this and achieving a chrome on the white surface is quite hard because the chromes always look better on the darker surface so look at those difference in the, in the color of the chrome when we done it at 
uh, with the finger and I even didn't bring any extra pigment into that. Uh, so now you guys know why I prefer the finger application compared to the um, to the any other methods. <laughs> okay, so we've got this done. And then our next step is to uh, place some blooming gel. So apply the blooming gel. And now we are going to grab this orange color. And the dotting tool. Gosh, when creating so many designs, things become more difficult because <laughs> I have to use more stuff. And let's maybe do a white one as well. So let's add some white one as well. So I'm just creating dots of the orange. Very quick and easy design as well. I love blooming gel for that. And then the white, just place it in between that. And as you can see it, I'm not even bothered like of the size of those dots. And then another one, an orange, just at the edges. Okay, let our design to work. And then on this one, we are going to do the last one. So again, transfer foil, just pick up the D-liner brush and the transfer foil was, can you guess which one was it? Okay, I think I can. That will be the transfer foil, the thicker one. <laughs> and what we are going to paint is just like a wee line, very wiggly line, with the couple cracks. Again, very quick and easy design. Cure it. This one is ready to be cooked as well. This one is absolutely finished, so nice and pretty, we butterfly. So we've got two. I love them, like the, the colors on them, absolutely amazing. This one is ready as well. I think I really love the combination of those gold and orange together. Um, really pretty. Okay, so this one should be ready. Let's test it if I were right by saying this was the transfer foil. Yay, it was. So I, I knew it after the consistency. So there we are, pretty. And then we are going to grab the ombre brush. So this brush comes in a set of the few brushes, quite a decent set. Uh, of the brushes and now let's pick up some marble. So normally I would do dot on top of dot but since I've got this product what I'm doing is I'm just basically going like this and then I've got some pretty marble. Absolutely amazing one, so easy to do it. And again, I love this color combination. Okay, just touch this up so I have no holes. And you can really go and just smudge it a little bit and then give it a cure. Okay, this one, I'm gonna show you a wee trick. Uh, so what we will do is now we will use some UV cleanser and clean the entire tip. And what will happen is the blooming gel did leave some spaces um, 
which kind of blunt so it protected our chrome but the chrome also become it more chromey um, and I love that look and now we can since we also clean it the entire design we can finish it off with the next step so I'm going to grab this foil gel and we are going to paint a couple leaves in here actually I need to take a fresh one It's a kind of like a jungle design, I call it. So you have to reflect the tip to search how you want to place your leaves because otherwise it's not as visible. There we are, cure it 60 seconds. For the marble one, I'm going to add a tiny bit of the um, sugar. So in order to do that, we have to top coat our marble first. So grab the top coat and go over the marble part. Only the marble part. and then cure it. The one with the transfer foil is cooking. And I can grab some transfer foil. I don't want it to be exactly the same like the other one. So I've got a mixture of those ones and I quite like this one here because we could achieve a nice orange color. Let me see if I get away with the orange color here. No, no, no. So we have to use this one because that's the only transfer foil which has some orange in it. And I want to keep it everything in the same kind of color range, you know, guys. So here we are. The pink one would be still okay as well. Um, but So what I do is I'm picking up those orange place, more of those orange place to create my look. And then in here as well. And I actually like it because we have created an ombre look with the transfer foil. Absolutely awesome jungle nails. Okay, let's top coat it and secure everything. And give it a cure. Now on the last tip we are going to sprinkle a tiny bit of the sugar so this middle part is already cured and what I'm going to do it now is take a top coat and top coat the parts which we didn't top coat it. Okay, so just those white parts. I have flattened my brush so I can kind of try to avoid the gold part and here top coat it sugar it and then the entire collection no thank you cameraman sugar is here that was the acrylic powder but that's so kind of you so let's sugar it there we are tap it to remove the excess sugar it tap it to remove the excess and then 
cure it and I will be able to show you those uh, last two in a second as well. So we've got the collection of five orangey designs. Let me know guys, you have to really let me know if you're liking those kind of additions by colors where we're creating so many different designs. I've got also uh, this one, like uh, that's a red collection, so different ideas in red. Then we've got different ideas in orange. I can do different ideas in any different colors. So let's grab this one, remove the excess of the sugar and then place it here. So we've got another tip. And then this one is ready too. So just place it here. So this is the orange edition. That's what we have created today. I do hope you have really enjoyed it, guys. It looks awesome. And I love those chromes in there, the golds and everything uh, going in. So I'm sending you glittery hugs and bye for now.